Hey everyone, I'm Julia and welcome to Crocovlog channel. The holidays are fast approaching and it's time to get into a festive mood and decorate your website. And you know that nothing conveys better the feeling of Christmas than the falling snow. You want to give your website a bit of a holiday bling? Crocovlog Jetrix plugin will definitely help you. And it will take just a couple of minutes to add snowfall effect with the section particles widget. And by the way, if you are new to our channel, we upload videos on a regular basis, so make sure you are subscribed and don't forget to hit the bell to receive notifications. And now, let's get started! So, first of all, make sure that you have Jetrix plugin installed and that section particle extension is enabled. Now, open the page where you want to apply the snowfall in effect. I'll choose my home page. Once you open it in the Elementor editor, select the appropriate section and click on Edit section. On the left sidebar you'll find three tabs. Open the last one, Advanced. Now find Jetrix in the list and unfold it. There is only one option to enable particles. Toggle it on. An empty field will appear and it's a space for our future code. But there is a trick, you won't write even a line of code, as you can easily generate it if you follow this link. Let's click on it. The link will redirect you to a website with the JavaScript library for creating particles, and with the help of it you can create a dynamic background. Let's start with opening page background to select a different color and we can also enable hide card, so we could better see our particles. Next step, open Interactivity and now we need to turn off this hover and click effect. Let's unfold on hover and disable it. Repeat the same step with the unclick. Alright, and on the top we have particles. Once you unfold it, you'll see different options. Click on the last one, move and now we can adjust the speed and the direction of the particles. Choose bottom for the direction and enable random. You can either increase the speed or make it even slower. That's it here. Open the next option, line link and disable it. It will separate the particles from each other. Under the opacity and size, play with the values and choose the appropriate number. Don't forget to enable random to make your snowflakes look more natural. I'm gonna skip color as I'm okay with the white snow, however you're free to set any color that you like. And lastly we have number. Value increases or decreases the general quantity of the particles and if you enable the next option, you'll be able to control the density of the snowflakes. Once you're satisfied with the result, go to the very bottom and click on download the current configuration. Open the file in the text editor, for example, Notepad, copy the code and paste it to the particles JSON field in the Elementor editor. Don't forget to update and let's check the front end. By the way, if there is something that you don't like, you can simply open the code and you'll see that the code lines actually repeat the options from the website where we generated it. Just change the values and update it. Once the festive period is over, just disable the particles till the next year. That was it for this tutorial. Give us a thumbs up if you like it and don't forget to subscribe to our channel as more awesome videos are coming soon. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.